A newly released survey finds while U.S. teens attend religious services about as often as their parents, teens are less likely to say religion is an important part of their lives. The Pew Research Center study finds 24 percent of teens ages 13 to 17 say religion is very important in their lives compared to 43 percent of parents. Join me now on Skype to talk more about the study's findings is Elizabeth Supak, senior researcher at the Pew Research Center. Elizabeth, welcome back. Good to have you on the show again. Uh, the study, which was just released, but I know was conducted before the pandemic forced the shutdown of churches, points out that attending religious services tends to be a family activity. What were the teens' reasonings for participating, and what do you think is behind the difference between parents and the teens on the importance of religion in their lives? Thank you so much for having me, Tracy. I'm really happy to be here and to be able to talk about this study. Uh, you're right, as you pointed out, uh, there are very similar rates of attendance at worship services between teens and their parents. About four in 10 of each of those groups say that they attend monthly or more often. But when we ask teens, what is the main reason that you attend religious services? Is it mainly because you want to or is it mainly because your parents want you to? We find that they're a little more divided on that. About 35% of teens say that they attend because mainly because they want to, and 38% say that they attend mainly because their parents want them to. And we do find kind of this broader pattern about um, what teens do and how when they look like their parents and when they don't. And what we find is, like you said, on these more family practices like attendance, um, and some in some cases somewhat affiliation, is that they tend to look more like their parents. While on these more individual measures, things like saying religion is very important in their lives, saying that they pray daily, or even saying that they believe in God with absolute certainty, those are the more individual measures where they look a little bit different than their parents. I know that 24% uh, of the teens that you heard from identify as Catholic. What were some of your study's findings for them? Uh, so we do find that there are about a quarter of teens who identify as Catholic, and among Hispanic teens, that share is a little bit higher, quite a, quite a bit higher, actually. It's about 47% or so of Hispanic teens who identify as Catholic. Um, and so we do find that Hispanic teens across the board look largely similar to U.S. teens overall. Um, you know, about a quarter say that religion is very important in their lives and that they pray on a daily basis. Also, 63% uh, of the teens you survey, surveyed, that is, identified as Christian, but nearly one-third, 32% of the teens you surveyed, identified as religious nuns. What do you think is influencing that, and do you think that maybe social media has some sort of impact? I think that's a very interesting theory. One of the things to keep in mind about this survey, at least for us, is that it's the first time that we've interviewed teens in this way. So this is kind of our starting point for the share of teens who do identify as religious nuns, N-O-N-E-S. Uh, this is kind of our starting point. Um, we don't have a full trend on them, so it will be interesting to see where they go from here. What we do know about the growth of the religiously unaffiliated among young adults is that it has been consistently happening over the past decade or so. Uh, we don't have much time left, but I'm wondering, based on your findings, what do you think we can do to decrease the percentage of the nuns? You know what? I'm not entirely sure. I think a lot of this depends on just how teens grow up. When we ask teens about how, um, we ask them how many beliefs they think they hold in common with their parents, and about half said that they have all the same beliefs in common. But among those who said they had different beliefs, a lot of them give reasons saying that they're just unsure about things. They're less religious because they just have these doubts and these questions. So I think probably a good starting point to understanding teens is understanding why they have these different beliefs from their parents. Well, Elizabeth, a very interesting survey. Thank you for doing it. We appreciate it. We appreciate you coming on. Elizabeth Supak, senior researcher at the Pew Research Center. Thank you again. Thank you so much for having me.